A new food program in town isn't passing out just perishable goods to low-income families. It's also distributing fresh fruit, vegetables, even meat to college students. The pilot program, Helpful Harvest, launched this month and it's already looking to expand. Christina Laurie joins us live to explain. Good morning, Christina. Good morning, ladies. It's one thing hungry because you don't have anything to eat and that's the problem Second Harvest Food Bank's new program hopes to tackle this summer. Rejoining us this morning is Jeff, the organization's chief operating officer. So can we just do a quick recap of what Helpful Harvest is? Yeah, HelpfulHarvestWisconsin.org is the website. It is a pilot program that we are spearheading with Feeding America and we've chosen to add it to the campus area to a apply to college hunger like you're speaking about. Uh, people can get onto the website, they can privately order food from their own home, and then we'll pack the food, bag it up for them, and deliver it to a couple of different locations around campus and around the city of Madison for that matter, and they can privately, discreetly pick it up and go about their day. And there's something unique about the program that you're giving these college students because it's not just the typical cans of soup. What type of food are they getting? We were able to add some frozen meats to it. So we've got frozen ground chuck in there. We've got frozen chicken in there. We've got fresh potatoes. We've got fresh onions in there. So it's not all canned foods by any stretch. You're right. And the focus here is making this a no shame program, letting students know it's not bad to need to ask for help. How can someone at home who wants to support this initiative help out? You can certainly get onto the website. You can donate through secondharvest.org, uh, secondharvestmadison.org. Uh, you can drop off food to us at the food bank. Certainly, you can drop off food to any of your local pantries. They're all willing to receive it for you. And we've been talking a little bit off camera about how this is a growing problem because restaurants, other bakeries aren't donating as much as years past. Why do you think that is? I think a lot of the, the industry out there is getting a lot smarter about what they're doing, which makes them a lot more viable, which is good. You know, if they're viable, so are we. Uh, we see a lot more technological advances out there, um, letting people know that this is the amount of product we're going to need for this day, this day, and this day. And that's good. Uh, waste is being reduced. Uh, but overall, it certainly helps to have some donations coming our way as well. It certainly does. And so the next program, it launches right after the 4th of July holiday, July 8th. Right. The website goes up where you can sign up to take advantage of these donations. We have all this information of how you can sign up to either get help or to help by donating up on our website, channel3000.com. Really great effort there. All right, Christina Laurie reporting for us. Thank you, Christina.